So we have discussed about the theoretical part of the optical fiber that uh, how uh, it uh, propagates the light through it and what are the different uh, modes we can consider and uh, what are the different angles we consider that is the acceptance angle, numerical aperture etc. So next we will solve few questions based on these topics because these topics has been recently asked, uh, recently added in the syllabus. So uh, this is not, not very much question asked in gate but the question is very simple and that is basic questions and the basic part of this light propagation through optical fiber is in our syllabus. So let's uh, read the question number 11. A certain optical fiber has refractive index of clad N1 is equal to 1.4 and that of the core N2 is equal to 1.05. So its numerical aperture will be. So in this question it is given that the value of N1 is 1.4 and the value of N2 is 1.05. So the numerical aperture, we know the definition of the numerical aperture, we have already derived. So the numerical aperture is given by Na equal to root over N1 square minus N2 square. So this is root over n1 which is 1.4 whole square minus n2 which is 1.05 whole square. So let's calculate this value. It is 1.4 square minus 1.05 square. It is uh, 0 0.926. So as you can see from the option 0 0.926 is the option B. So the correct answer would be option B for the question number 11. So this is the very simple question that is the formula based question and this type of question is asked in gate only. Uh, next question is question number 12. The cladding material of a step index fiber has a relative permittivity of 2.4375. So the cladding material has the step index with a relative permittivity of 2.4375. Assuming both core and cladding materials to be non-magnetic, in order to have an index numerical aperture of 0 0.25, the refractive index of the core should be. Refractive index of the core. We have to calculate the refractive index. So here it is given that the numerical aperture is given as 0 0.25 and the permittivity of the core cladding in fact permittivity of the cladding so epsilon r for cladding is given as 2.4375 2.4375 so how can you calculate the refractive index of clad so refractive index is defined as n equal to so velocity of light in vacuum We have already done it, but still I am writing again. So velocity of light in medium. So it is the velocity of light and the velocity in medium is Vp. So we can write it as, because this is non-magnetic, so we can write mu epsilon, okay. So phase velocity is 1 upon root mu epsilon. And because it is non-magnetic in nature, we can write mu naught and mu r is 1 and epsilon naught and epsilon r because the what because the uh, non-magnetic cladding is there so mu r is 1 so we are uh, keeping this mu r 1 and root over mu naught epsilon naught is c uh, 1 upon c root over mu naught epsilon naught is 1 upon c so, so c and c will get cancelled and we will get only epsilon r so the refractive index is actually equal to root over epsilon r so the cladding is having refractive index root over 2.4375. Now as from the previous question we have seen that the numerical aperture is given by root over n1 that is the core square minus n2 which is cladding square and we have to find the refractive index of core and the numerical aperture is given as 0 0.25 so root over n square of core 
minus cladding square that is 2.4375 because square of it will be 2.4375. So now if you calculate the refractive index of core, so that would be 0 0.25 whole square plus 2.4375 root over it. So 0.25 square plus 2.4375 root over it, which is root over 2.5. root 2.5 if you calculate it once let me check once yes root over 2.5 and the correct answer would be according to the option option t now we are having the next question question number 13 so question number 13 says light free light from free space is incident at an angle of theta i to the normal to the facet of step index large core optical fiber. The core and cladding refractive indices are n1 is equal to 1.5 and n2 is equal to 1.4. The diagram is given. The maximum value of theta i for which the incident light will be guided in the core of the fiber is. So we know that the maximum angle at which the light incident on the optical fiber is called acceptance angle and if the uh, angle of incidence is greater than acceptance angle then light will not propagate through the optical fiber. So the maximum angle that optical fiber can accept is the acceptance angle and this acceptance angle is theta a is equal to sine inverse of numerical aperture, sine inverse of numerical aperture and the numerical aperture is given by sine inverse of root over n1 square minus n2 square. So sine inverse of root over n1, what is the value of n1? 1.5 and 1.4. So this is 1.5 square minus 1.4 square. So let's calculate this value root over 1.5 square minus 1.4 square it is 0 0.538 and sine inverse of this will be 32.58 so the maximum acceptance angle or the maximum angle at which the light should incident so that it will be guided in the core of the fiber is 32.58